all right guys what is up you guys asked for it you want to see how much weight these little toggle bolts can hold so we are going to take one put it in this drywall behind me and then we're going to put some weight on it and see how much one of these suckers can hold all right so it says 265 pounds um after looking at the box and everything that is tension load um and then shear load which would be more like a bookshelf what we're going to do is 241 pounds is what each one can hold on half inch drywall so we got half inch drywall here we're gonna go for that shear um, weight and I'm not sure I think I should have 200 pounds laying around somewhere if not we'll figure it out I got some 50 pound bags of cement and some other stuff that we can put on there so let's go ahead and get into it first of all I didn't get permission to do this inside so I gotta do this out here for you guys all right so we rig this little thing up it's like a bookshelf this is what's going to get screwed into the wall and that's what's going to hold all our weight because that's all i could think of an old drawer and then just three pieces of wood it's going to be like a bookshelf basically and i'm just going to put one screw in there let's go ahead and go get this weight and then we'll screw it into the wall all right guys there you have it 12.8 pounds so we got a half inch spade bit. We're just gonna make a hole. Nothing behind it. All right, and here is our anchor piece, quarter inch. This part's gonna go in first. Once you move this little piece, tighten it up against the wall, and you're just going to snap this off. And this is where your bolt's going to screw into right there. Got our drill here, our bolt, and I put a washer on it just because I used the same half inch drill bit to make the hole on here. And we're just going to thread it in there. Alright guys, we got it on there. We're gonna start easy. Boom. Alright, so we're gonna start easy. We're gonna start with 20, then 40. Alright. 40. Alright, there's 40 pounds right off the bat. Let me run to the other garage and grab the rest of the weights. I'll be right back. Alright guys, there you have it. Alright, we have 40 pounds of weight plus this is around, I think it was 12 pounds, so about 50 pounds. I got two 50 pound bags of cement. 25, another 25, two 15s, and two 10s. So that's what, 200? So I got 100, 200, 50s, what's on there? 10, 60, 260, and 265 with these little baby ones. So, all right, let me get my safeties on in case something flies at me. All right, guys, let's do this. We're gonna start off hard. 50 pounds right off the bat. That's 100 pounds. Let's see, gotta be careful with my toes. All right, 150, 150, let's go. Let's go. Woo! 150. 150. All right, guys, so this is probably helping a bit. Just the, well, we have the support, but this is what a bookshelf would be like. Uh, you know, the plan here is I was gonna make racks to hold stuff, 
and if I put two of these, I can I know for sure I can hold 100 pounds. What is it, 50, 50, 50? 150 pounds. All right, let's get into the good stuff. down here 175 That's what it'll do. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> All right. So we got 175, and I sacrificed a bag of cement for you guys. That's what we were able to hold. So not quite the 240 that they said, 260, 241, but still quite a bit for one anchor. If I were to put two of those. I probably could have got double. There you have it. One of these toggler toggle bolts was able to hold 175 pounds for about 30 seconds. So yeah, not exactly the 241 that it says on there. It could have been affected by how far out my little shelf was sticking out. Of course, uh, the closer you can get the weight to that wall, the more it says so on the packaging, but it still held quite a bit. So yeah, so if you're looking for a good anchor to hold a good amount of weight, um, for a project from shelving or a TV mount or something. I use these all the time. I have one of my TVs in the house is mounted with these. And toggler toggle bolts, I'll put a link down below. These are meant for flat panel TVs, handrails, grab bars, AA hardware cabinets, shelving, lighting fixtures, window treatments, kitchen accessories, bathroom accessories, sinks, partitions, office furniture, heavy machinery, reinstallations, and much more. And outdoors, solar panels, satellite antennas, roof stacking, garage doors, marine applications. So those are the things that they recommend it for. Again, load adjustment factors industry, industry standard allow load is a quarter of the ultimate load so a quarter of 241 is i don't know about to do that size is what is the industry standard forever 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 one eternity later but 175 pounds was the final verdict for me guys if you want to see anything else let me know in the comments down below and yeah let's clean up this mess now. I really do like this product. Um, I use it on everything, whether it's like hanging, you know, the towel bars and stuff like that in the bathroom to mounting TVs. In my kitchen, I had one of the cabinets where something was wonky with the stud. And so I had screwed in all the other areas and I had just one that was off and I couldn't get a stud. So I put one of these in there. It holds one of the corners of one of my cabinets. It's holding up great. So. I use these all the time um, and it didn't hold, well at least for me it didn't hold what it says on the thing but it's still a great product. It still holds a lot more than other products that I've tried. I've tried the regular ones. I've tried the other anchor types that just go into the drywall uh, and they're, they'll hold stuff like pictures and stuff but by far this one has been the best one. So Toggler, if you got any suggestions Toggler, hit me up and you know I like the anchors are made in the USA, the bolts are not made in the USA just the anchor part the white and the metal part the brass part and then the actual bolt is made in Taiwan but part of it's manufactured here in the US so all in all I would recommend this product I, I carry this I keep a box in the shop here or in my tool bag when I go out and do stuff so alright guys thanks for watching if you like the video if you found it helpful please hit that like and that subscribe if you want to see more videos in the future um, if this helped out let me know in the comments down below let me know if you want to see anything else so Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys next week.